Good morning, just a brief update on World Hope Ministries International. I wanted to share with you some of the stories we're hearing uh, from our partners around the world uh, in the some 30 plus countries where we are working. We are staying in close touch with them, knowing that uh, many of them are in very vulnerable uh, situations. And we wanna provide them both emotional, spiritual, and, and even uh, different kinds of material support as necessary. And I wanted to just share two or three stories with you that I thought uh, would give you some specific things to pray about and also be some encouragement to you. I heard from our partners in, uh, in, in Kawangwari, West, West Nairobi, uh, where those folks are living really uh, before COVID-19, before the shutdown, we're already living day to day um, in, in very dire conditions. And uh, we have heard from our, our leader there, regional coordinator, um, just some of the grave uh, difficulties that are happening even before the disease uh, comes into that area. Um, uh, because they are in, in lockdown and can't leave, these are folks who, who are dependent on a, almost an everyday supply chain to eat. Uh, you know, they don't have cupboards and refrigerators and freezers and all of these things. And, and these shanties that, uh, that they live in. And uh, our regional coordinator there is already working to try to help uh, provide some bread and some, some food to help some of the people in that area. Um, we have been in touch with the folks there and uh, through a generous gift from another uh, ministry partner, uh, we have already been able to send some funds directly to Kawangwari to help. Uh, with the situation there as it is developing. We've done the same thing in South Africa with our partner there who is uh, working in a very poor area and also working in a slum area as well. And uh, we've been able to send some funds to them immediately to help provide food and resources to them to face COVID-19. A couple of other things we're doing that uh, that I think uh, it, it just reminds me how, how good God is in preparation. A couple of years ago, over the last two or three years, we've set up some sewing projects through our Global Reach Ministry in two different areas in Kenya. And we've been in touch with, uh, with the leaders on the ground there to see about taking those, uh, those projects and seeing how they can be leveraged to help amid the COVID-19 crisis. Uh, one of those is a sewing project in two different locations we did sewing projects where we bought sewing machines, doing sewing training and helping them work towards self-sufficiency. Uh, and now we are sourcing uh, cloth to see how we can get cloth. So uh, in two of these areas, they can begin uh, sewing masks that could be given out to help. It's just a, a way God is using all these little pieces that were already there to, to help a situation that, that was already very dire. Um, we heard from uh, one of our partners in, in Central America and um, just a longtime partner, one of our Bible Institute regional coordinators and a longtime Global Reach partner uh, shared with me how uh, there is, there's no money there, there's no, there's no food uh, to, to just go out and get easily. Um, and, uh, and, and the criminals are taking a strong stand at being very aggressive. In fact, uh, sadly, one of the one of those pastors uh, in the southern part of this country uh, was robbed and, and killed. It, it just reminds you how how fragile uh, things are. And so we are um, looking at each of these areas to see what we can do immediately and and over the near to short term to help make sure we are doing what we can do uh, through our structures with the Bible Institute, through our Global Reach partners to help people uh, amidst this, this very difficult time. Uh, one piece of uh, good news just to share with you, it just blessed me uh, in Haiti, which was already so vulnerable, one of the poorest countries in the world. Uh, we've been partnering with a ministry out of Virginia that has been doing Christian humanitarian work there for some years since the, since the earthquake. And uh, they are shipping, have already begun to ship powdered bleach and uh, hand sanitizer into Haiti to try to help with hygiene uh, so the virus uh, spread is slowed. And yet they didn't have a structure or a way to distribute that uh, that they felt comfortable with and uh, so what they have done is they've gone through our Bible Institute to our chairman, 
uh, Pastor Labranche there in, uh, in Haiti, along with our council members. And then they are distributing these, this, uh, this bleach powder that can be mixed with water to make uh, a, a liquid bleach. They are distributing that through our students, through our Bible Institute students, along with training videos about to how to sanitary wash your hands. And so it's just neat to see how even ministries are partnering together right now to help amid this global crisis. Uh, the board of directors will be meeting just in a couple of weeks. Uh, we are looking at other proposals, uh, both immediate and, and more long-term over the next few months to make sure World Hope is supporting those in the field working with us, our councils, our chairman, our regional coordinators, our area coordinators, and all of our associate directors are staying in close touch with them to see what we need to be doing. We are hearing cries and we are already responding to them, but we would like to ask you to continue to pray with us uh, over these things. Give us wisdom, Lord. Help us to understand how to help these folks um, because we have, uh, in, in many countries, we already have a structure built out of reliable leaders, trained pastors um, who have high integrity. And so we want to leverage that uh, both in the things that we're doing and in offering to partner with other ministries to help with the distribution of, of critical uh, products that are, are intended to meet this need. We thank you so much for praying for us. Uh, please, as God allows you to, to continue to support this work. We are busy in the midst of this crisis and God has placed us in a strategic place to be able to, to do lots of different kinds of ministries and to help other ministries to be able to distribute goods, resources into some of the, the most impoverished areas of the world. So thank you for staying with us. Thank you for praying. Thank you for supporting. Uh, we'll be keeping you updated on what God is doing. And we just ask that, that you would continue to pray for us as we pray for you. God bless you.